This is a show called Netlink Daily. It is about tech news. It is not a show called Ned Jinx Daily, in which a character named Ned cuts people off by saying the same word they are saying. That would be ridiculous. Ridiculous. Jinx, owe me a Coke. <sighs> That's the third one this week. It's not. AMD took the wraps off its Epic 7000 series server processors last night, and with it, their plans to attack Intel head-on in yet another market. The Epic product line ranges from the humble 7251 with 8 cores and 16 threads to the flagship 7601 with 32 cores and 64 threads. As these are meant for servers, Epic processors can be run in one or two socket configurations, with combined support for 4 terabytes of memory in 32 DIMM slots and 128 PCIe lanes. AMD's own benchmarks showed their top chip beating the current flagship Xeon chip from Intel, the E52699A, by 47% in integer performance and 75% in floating point performance. Now, Intel is gearing up to refresh their current Broadwell Xeons with Skylake parts, but AMD feareth not the morrow. They kind of have everything to gain and nothing to lose, as Intel pretty much has a monopoly on the server market. Will you guys pick up one of these epic processors for your gaming rig? Leave a comment below. <laughs> the answer should be no. FYI. Google has taken a major step towards building their own little city. Yesterday, the City Council of San Jose agreed to negotiate with Google to develop around 7 million square feet of office space and 3,000 units of housing. The area would serve as a hub for transit, commercial shops, and would supply 20,000 jobs. Google apparently wants the area to have world-class architecture, publicly accessible outdoor plazas, and paseos, I don't know what that is, a green belt, and a park. Man, that sounded really Californian. Would you guys want to live in a Google city? It'd probably be free as long as they could put cameras all over your apartment. Even the bathroom, probably. Google. And Netflix has launched their first original show that incorporates interactivity. Interactive storytelling will let viewers choose between what scenario comes next in Puss in Book, Trapped in an Epic Tale, I had a hard time saying that, which released today, and Buddy Thunderstruck, the Maybe Pile, coming July 14th. The interactivity will consist of choosing which one out of two scenes will come next and will be available on most TV experiences and iOS devices. No Android or Windows support yet, it seems. It's no Telltale Games type experience, but it's definitely interesting to see the worlds of TV and games merging together, like when Batman and Wolverine merged into Dark Claw in Amalgam Comics. I take it back, it's not interesting, it's weird. It's time for... Oh look, it's a Canadian Grand Prix. Tech bits? What? Shouldn't it be quick bits? I think you're right, Mohammed. It should be quick bits. You tell Renault I said that. Thanks for the submission. Want to send us a quick bits clip? Tweet it. The OnePlus 5 cheats on benchmarks, according to XDA developers, which is made worse by the fact that the company had already been caught previously for cheating, along with Samsung and pretty much any other phone maker, so I, I guess you should just buy phones based on looks. I don't know. Sega announced Sega Forever this morning, a new service that will let you play classic Genesis games on Android and iOS. Sega wants to expand it eventually into a Netflix-type service for retro games since Nintendo is just not stepping up. ZeniMax is still ZeniMax, and they want Oculus to stop selling Rift VR headsets or give them 20% of the profits. Experts believe ZeniMax is being a big baby and should settle down already. They don't say that. I just made that up. Google Glass, of all things, just got an update adding support for Bluetooth mice and keyboards. Ah, if only they had pushed this out sooner, it might have saved Glass. It's the one thing it was missing. Just the one thing. The WannaCry ransomware that struck globally last month is still kicking around, apparently, as it forced Honda to shut down its production plant in Sayama, northwest of Tokyo, on Monday. The internet is in danger. That new reboot series can't come fast enough. Except it looks horrible. Sources for all of today's news stories can be found in the NCIX forum post linked in the description. I like pizza. Coffee. Freshly juiced. Ah, yeah. Thanks for the hashtag NCXYodog, Carl. The rest of you, tweet one at us if you want. Speaking of pizza, forget about pizza for a second because I'm going to tell you about fans with benefits. No, it's not a dysfunctional relationship that tries unsuccessfully to compartmentalize intimacy. It's our monthly giveaway. 
For June, we're giving away a Corsair Glaive RGB optical gaming mouse. And to win it, all you gotta do is subscribe to NCIX Tech Tips and comment on any video from June. We pick the winners on the first Netlinked in July, which will be July 3rd or 4th. The 3rd might be a holiday. So, so yeah, subscribe and comment, and I love you. Not like that, though. I'm married. All right, that's it for Nailing Daily, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Click over here for previous videos. Check us out on Twitter over here. But as always, like the video if you liked it, comment below for fans with benefits, and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. There will be more. In case you were like, is this the last one? Nope. There's more coming, so. Just want to reassure you. <laughs>